Welcome to the first video in the series, Do the Integrals in Your Head. And as we can see, we have these 10 integrals, we should be able to do them in our head. The way to do them is that we just need to know our derivatives really, really well. Take a look at the first one. We have the integral of secant squared x. All we have to do is ask ourselves, do we know the derivative of what function is going to give us secant squared x? Yes, we do. And the function is tangent x. So that's the answer. We can just put that down and don't forget the plus c. That's it. We don't have to do anything else. So now please pause the video and finish the rest of the questions and then check your answer with mine later on. You done? Cool. Let's continue. Number two, integral of sine x. Well, the derivative cosine is negative sine. So we have to negate that negative cosine x when we differentiate this, we will get positive sine x. And then don't forget the plus c. So that will be it. Next, integral 1 over x. Do not write this down as x to the negative 1 and use the reverse power rule because negative 1 plus 1 will be 0 divided by 0. Well, I don't know what will happen, right? We just have to remember the derivative of natural log of x will give us 1 over x. However, here's a technical detail. Sometimes we might be integrating this function from negative 5 to negative 2. That's okay, but we should be able to plug in negative 5, negative 2 here. So let's go ahead and put down an absolute value around the x to ensure we can actually do that. And if you differentiate ln absolute value of x, you can legitimately get 1 over x. You can check out my other video for that, but I will just put down plus c like this and box the answer for you guys. Continue. Okay, do we know the derivative of what function will give us 1 over 1 plus x squared? Yes, we do. Inverse tangent x. And then plus c. Done deal. Right? So this is a special one, and you have to remember all this for your calculus 1, calculus 2 class, of course. Any class that need integrations, actually. All right, continue. Integral of cosine x, well, it will just get positive sine x. Because if we differentiate this, we do get positive cosine x. So that will be it. Number six, the hardest one. The derivative of what function will give us e to the x? The answer is e to the x. Man, that was the hardest one. Yeah. All right, next. Uh, secant x, tangent x derivative of secant x will give us that. So just go ahead and put that down. We have secant x. That's all. Number eight, integral of cosecant squared x. We remember that if we differentiate cotangent x, that will give us negative cosecant squared. So we actually need a negative here. When we differentiate negative cotangent x, we will get positive cosecant squared x. And then plus c, very nice. Next one, integral of pi in the x world. This is not pi squared over 2. This is just going to be pi times x. That's all. Because pi is just a number. You can look at pi as like 17, but pi is 3.14, I know. And when we integrate a constant, you just pretty much attach x to it. If you differentiate that, you just get this for the derivative. Lastly, Integral of 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared. The derivative of what function will give us this? I'll give you a little hint. It's an inverse trig function again. Sine, that's correct. This right here, we get inverse sine x plus c. Alright, so this is the first part of do the integrals in your head. And you guys can check out my Instagram. I have the notes over there because I can just post picture over there and you guys can check out part two here, right? So that will be it for this video.